I wanted to take a moment and walk you through what I hope will ultimately save you some time, frustration, and money when it comes to uh, flying a quad. So originally I was flying with uh, these Turnigy 2700 or 2730, 1300 kV motors. And as you can see, it actually flew with a prop saver. And if you're not familiar with a prop saver, you basically attach this with a little rubber band or this is a rubber band, but in, in most cases you're using a, um, an O-ring type setup. I think prop savers are really good for getting started, but if you want to do any serious quad flying or carry in any sort of payload, um, I just don't recommend them at all. So I went ahead and upgraded to the, uh, what's essentially very similar to the DJI uh, stock motor. This is the iPower. 2217 950 kV motor and it's been a great motor but one of the things I learned is that um, having go gone from prop savers normally you just you know your rubber band or your o-ring is attached you're ready for flight uh, in the case of uh, motors with prop adapters I highly recommend doing a uh, pre-flight check doing a pre-flight pre-flight check is pretty much a no-brainer um, you would think, well, obviously I didn't do a pre-flight check yesterday. And so what happened was this bullet that essentially screws on to the um, prop shaft was loose. I mean, to the best of my knowledge. So this is actually motor four, which is your rear right motor for your NASA. And this guy was loose. He, he turned clockwise. Now, if you think about the rotation, if your your bullet nut is loose and this guy's rotating counter or clockwise what it'll essentially do is come unscrewed and so uh, my prop flew off the quad took a kind of a hard right uh, turn and just dived into the ground so I've seen a lot of YouTube videos that talk about how wobbly the DJI arms are or how flimsy they are and you know, I have to beg to differ with that. This frame has been pretty incredible, and this uh, quad flew up about from about 30 feet uh, out of the air down onto this this arm, and really all it busted was the motor mount. So, all in all, it sent me back four dollars and fifty cents. This arm can be cheaply replaced, and my main concern was just the NASA flight controller. This guy was hanging out. He had the uh, foam padding that I have mounted in here came loose and I was concerned that the NASA, you know, was busted. But once I got it back to the shop, I was actually able to just do a quick test. All motors, ESCs, flight controller, receiver are working great. So um, moral of the story is always do a pre-flight check. It's just pretty simple. The prop adapter should have just gone in here and gave it a little tug to, to fill the, you know, the tightness of the nut and then would have saved me a little bit of time and frustration. So I hope that helps you guys and uh, I'll be posting a follow-up soon related to the NASA second level voltage protection. Thanks for watching.